Hi everyone, welcome to the New York Times Hard Sudoku for Thursday, April 18th, 2024. And let's see how well this one goes. Now I've got fours in rows one and three, so that places a four in three spots in row two, all in box one. In the middle of three rows, I can place a seven in box six, row six, and that's all I get. In the bottom rows, let's see, a six is placed in box nine because I have one, two, three sixes looking into it. I was hoping to place a nine in the same box, but I can't really do that. The best I can do is place it in one of two positions. Uh, if I take out nine and six, I've got two, oh, one is placed right there. Okay, if I take out six, nine, and one, I've got seven, three, four, and two once each. I'm done. And now vertical scanning. Oh, look. There's a 5, 7, and a 5, and 7, both in columns 2 and 3. And from the looks of the Oh, I thought they were both in the same two boxes, but they're not. So 5 actually goes here. 7 goes in one of those two. And 9 goes in one of these three. In the middle three row the columns, one goes there. Four, nine, three, seven, six, I'm done. Okay, four is in one of those two in column eight. Six is in one of these three. Uh, is that all I get? Four, six, six, four, four, six, I think so. Okay, now, 2 is actually placed in box 7, because I have 2 digits, there are 4 others, there's only 3 left, and the 2 in row 7 rules out 2 of the 3 spots. Okay, so what's left is 3, 4, which are not resolved. Oh, no, there's a 3 in the box, come on, think, Colin. Four is correct, the other digit's an eight. Okay, that only leaves three digits in row seven left. One, two, four, six, eight, nine placed. I need three, five, and seven. Three must go in one of those two. Okay, that's down to three or seven. This could be any of them. No, it can't. That's five or seven only. Okay, so, so the nice thing about that triple in row seven as soon as I figure one digit out, I have the rest. Now, as for column one, I have five digits, one, five, six, eight, nine. I need two, three, four, and seven. This particular cell, the bottom left of box four, can be any of them, except seven. Same with that one. Uh, this can't be three, but could be anything else. This one can't be four, but could be anything else. Okay, eight's ruled out of those two, so eight is in one of those two in box four. Let's see. A oh, one also looks into these two, so th this is actually a hidden one-eight pair here. That means that's a pair. Not not quite. But one five seven eight nine place. I need two, three, four, and six. Six has not been placed in yet. I'm left with that configuration. I don't have any additional information. Oh well actually. This is not six, and six goes in one of those two. But I don't know where six goes exactly in the two spots in either row four or row six, and so I can't really do anything else with it. What I can do is say three, five, seven, nine are placed in column three. I need one, two, four, six, eight. Well, this cell is 126 at the bottom right of box 1, because it sees 4 and 8. This one can be anything but 8.
Oh, well, actually, I uh, just saw something. Row 8 has a triple left in it, because I have three that it's placed. 1, 2, 4, 5, 6, 9 placed. I need 3, 7, 8. This one sees an 8, so that's 3 or 7, which makes this a pair. This is an 8, 9 pair, which is resolved by the 8 in column 8 looking down. That makes this a pair. Uh, four, five, four, two, four, and the four looks down. Okay, so this is one, two, four, five, six, nine. Okay, this is three, seven, eight. Well, this sees seven, so that's three and eight. This is three, seven, eight. That puts a five here, but we knew that already. Okay, in the bottom three rows are done, basically. As soon as I figure out one of the digits, the rest will unwind itself. Now, uh, column eight looks somewhat promising, I think. I have two, six, eight, nine placed. I need one, three, four, five, seven. That one is any of those digits except five. That's been with seven. Okay, this, this sees four twice. And this sees three and four. Let's see, so that was not helpful. But, I do know eight's in one of those two now. So on this eight, this eight, and this eight, all looking up into box three. Okay, the oh four and six can go there. So six has already been placed though. Let's see, those can't be one, four, five. Let's see, none of those are eight by box logic. That's he's seven or nine by row. That's he's seven by row. This, okay, nothing there can be six. That sees an eight. That sees a three. That sees nothing else out of it that's helpful. Uh, let's see. Four. Okay, this can't be five. This can't be five. That could still be five, annoyingly. Uh, let's start with those two. These two cells in column four at the top cannot be one, two, three, four, nine. Actually, this might be hidden. No, it's not quite hidden. That cell sees one, two, three, four, five, six, nine. That's seven or eight only. This is one, two, three, four, nine are out. But that one could be five, six, seven, eight. This one isn't one, two, four, or nine. And after cleaning it up, I'm left with that, which doesn't help me any. Okay, what about those two? I see one, seven, eight, nine. I need two, three, four, five, six to place. That sees three, four. That sees four, six. Let's see. These cells only see two, five, and seven. That's not helpful. Row six, unfortunately, isn't very helpful either. Uh, what about column five? I see one, three, four. Let's see. Okay, column seven, the only even data that's left is a two. Which I don't think is ruled out of any of the remaining cells. Nope. One, three, five, seven, nine for my odd digits. Yeah, 
I was hoping to make some progress on box six. I can't really do that, though. Okay, those ones only take six, seven out. That's not three, four. That's not three, four, five. See, these ones are not two, five, or seven. And that's it as far as filling digits out. That's these four, six, and eight. That's these three and eight. And actually, none of those can be eight. That one also gets rid of four. No. Yeah, I need to clean up the middle and the top rows. The bottom rows are done, and they're nice. <clears throat> Let's see. One crosses a region. We know eight does. So do three, four, and six. Nine's the only one that doesn't in column two. Okay, what's left? Not much. I do not like these offset pairs now. Oh, wait a minute. I was just okay, this could never have been six. Six is limited to those two, so that's not six either. Uh, that means there's a two, three, five triple here, I think. Yeah. And the reason is none of those cells can be four or six. So this is a hidden four, six pair, actually. What that means is those can't be four. So 2, 3 rules out this from being a 2 or 3. That's a 7, and there's my breakthrough. That's forced to be a 4 because it can't be 2 or 7. Let's see, 7 places the 8. That's not 8, and that one is. And therefore those are not 8. And neither of those eight, or any of those eight, or that seven. Okay, that's not eight, so that's an eight. Eight's placed in box three. Let's see. Uh, I thought two was limited. It isn't. Neither is one. Okay, well... Oh, even five is... looking at two different regions in column four. Fiddlesticks. Oh, but this can't be three, so three is limited to one of those two, which means none of those are three. None of those are three. Okay, does that give me one place and one place only for any digit in a row? Or column. Not that I can see immediately. Oh, yeah, my 
7.35. It makes that a triple that hasn't been fixed either. What? Three's now in one of those two. Annoyingly, this could still be nine. Because of that, I can't make a 3-9 hidden pair here. I really want to do that, but I'm not able to do that yet. Um, okay, seven still here. Four cylinder, nothing else is four. Six is here, nothing else is six. No. Two is in one of those. But that's a tell us something we don't know already. Any of those five cells could be one. That's where I'm running into a problem. Okay. Erg. Hmm. Okay, I don't see anything obvious by row or column. I have to look by box. By box, one, okay, two, two, three, nine are all limited, but one and six are not. In box two, the only thing that's limited, oh, is actually this hidden six, seven pair. None of those cells can be six or seven. Six, seven can only be in those two cells. Now that gives me this hidden five in column four, and because three, six, seven falls as a triple, so five places two, which places nine, which rules out nine from a bunch of cells, two and five from some other cells, two from that one, two and nine from that one, two, five and nine from that one. This is now a six, eight pair, which resolves the seven, six that I just found. Let's see. Six places three, seven, uh, the triple in. Okay, that finishes out boxes eight and nine and almost does box seven. The three in row six places two and three, which resolves box five down to a four nine pair. Okay, that's, I know where seven is not. That's not two. Three is placed. Five is placed. Uh, three, nine are out. Ah, two, not three. That place is one. Three. Okay, box. 
box two is down to a two five pair. That's not two five or seven. Okay, that's a one nine pair, which makes that two. It can't be one nine or two or five seven. That's a three. That's forced to be a nine. One five seven. That finishes box three. The five in row three finishes box two, which will finish box one, I think. Eight, four, eight, four, six, one, six, eight. Yep, we're away at this point. I'm just filling the digits in. Nine, four, one, seven, and six. And 20 minutes. Yeah. This is not a bad time. The key for me was finding the hidden six, seven pair in box two, and... I'll admit, I'm not the fastest at finding those things, but once I found that, the rest of it collapsed pretty much of its own weight.